。市场普遍预计，美联储将会在下周三的议息会议之后宣布次贷危机以来的首次升息。那么，零利率时代即将终结，明年中国经济将会面临哪些挑战呢？美银美林的经济学家就此接受了第一财经记者的专访。我们来看一下。美银美林发布的二零一六全球市场展望，预计全球经济明年增速为百分之三点四。美银美林预测，美联储将在下周的议息会议上宣布二十五个基点的加息，明后年每年加息次数在三到四次左右。报告对中国二零一五和二零一六年的经济增速预测为百分之六点九和百分之六点六。The main challenge continues to be to rebalance the economy away from manufacturing and construction to the service sector. And in order to prevent the economy from slowing sharply, it was very important to develop the service sector. It was also very important to reduce savings, to increase consumption and reduce savings, to reduce that external imbalance that China had of a very large current account surplus. So that is, in some sense, working. I mean, we do see. Uh, the anecdotal evidence we do see service PMIs indicating, and we also, sorry, and we also do see service imports suggesting that the service sector is actually doing well, and this is providing clearly a buffer uh, to growth. The economy will continue to struggle with a few challenges, as we know. Uh, the authorities are trying to uh, cope with the high levels of corporate debt. Um, as well as the problems in the industrial sector. So to do that, partly that's why we think they will ease monetary policy. We think that the economy needs easier monetary conditions. 美银预测，伴随中美央行货币政策背离，人民币对美元汇率在二零一六年跌幅为百分之七，并对亚洲新兴市场国家和大宗商品市场产生负面的溢出效应。第一财经记者葛维尔、申玉峰，美国纽约报道。